So right now, this is our confirmation stage, and this will be the stage that we make sure that all the different subsystems are coming together and working as a complete vehicle. We are going to be looking at the high-speed films, the accelerometer data, motion tracking via video, to make sure that not only do we get a good result, but that result is robust and repetitive. Really what we're looking for is to try to protect you in any situation that might come. When you look at the gravity, we designed these crash rails to absorb energy and to initiate cause folds, and then as it starts to collapse, each little fold is making you safer. Each fold gives more time that we can disperse that energy over a distance rather than an instantaneous impact. So the theory is absorb energy, be stable with the backup structure, and redirecting all the loads around the customer space and try to go down our main longitudinal body structures. There are crash cases where we don't hit those rails. Imagine this where you're driving and you have another vehicle which may have swerved towards you. We don't want to let the wheel and tire collapse into this hinge pillar still because again, we haven't absorbed energy. So we're trying to glance off and protect the customer occupant area from wheel force. This might not seem like much, but this has been years of obsession from Lucid engineers. It did exactly what we wanted. These were designed so that in durability and it impacts, they don't separate. But under a crash event, that little bit of push at the front of the vehicle allows us to move away and slide over and we eject the wheel to the side so that you can glance off in these moments and be as safe as you possibly can be. And that's what we've achieved with this small overlap rigid barrier test.